Action player! You earn badges from playing with style. The more stylish you are, the more badges you will earn. When you earn enough badges, trade them in for overdrives. Overdrives give you boosts in your abilities. They're awesome! You can now unlock your first overdrive. Select the empty slot to equip a new overdrive. Want to unlock more overdrives? You gotta earn some badges first. You unlock and equip overdrives in the character page. Play how you want and you'll get better at the things you enjoy. Nice! The dog park is over in Little Tokyo. You'll have to cross the North Bridge to get there. The bridge? Nah, I can just jump across on these boats. Boats? Ugh, yikes. Open water scares me. It's just a river, Sam. It's not the Bermuda Triangle. Hey, the Bermuda Triangle is no laughing matter. Hundreds of ships lost, thousands claimed by the sea. Not only is it a hotbed for tropical storms and magnetic anomalies, but I am pretty sure I read about alien abductions and leftover technologies from Atlantis causing ultrasonic... Sam, I found the dog! You did? No, I just wanted to save the world from the rest of your story. <laughs> just call me when you find the dog.
trying to command it, it will only interact with its favorite toy, Cutie Kitty. Listen, there's a toy store pretty close to you. Just try looking there for the kitty launcher, okay? Or you could just tell Margaret her dog is dead. That dog means a lot to her. Fine. Oh, wait, Sam! The dog is following me now. Oh, great. <gasps> oh, no, it just committed suicide. Sorry. Mission failed. What's next? Just check the toy <gasps> store before giving up, okay? Oh, but giving up is my special move. <sighs> Stupid dog. My cutie kitty. make this fun for me, too. Well, how about... Hell yeah! Hey, Sam, I got this stupid dog excited. Now, how do I reboot it? Not the best news to bring to you, but Margaret has to do that here. Of course she does. Just try to get used to how he moves. You have a long track back. Thank you for the reminder. dog's in recovery mode, he'll only go places he recognizes. But Margaret always walked Boo Boo over the North Bridge. Try luring him there. Who got that kitty? Who did? Who got the kitty witty? Fetch! One other thing. You can't use your guns. The dog will sense you as a threat and kill you. Well, at least this will all be over. Don't worry, the dog will defend you as long as you have the cutie kitty. Try him out. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay, dog, Sam says you're a killing machine. So let's see if you can kill some OD for me. I'm not gonna lie, well, that was pretty cool. Let's do this, Pooch. Hey, buddy! See you in hell! Bet! Go get it! Who got that kitty? Who did? Who got. Alright, Pooch, let's see if you can make this jump. Okay, we're 
did Margaret walk the dog next? Hopefully it's a place with more things to kill in it. Down to the intersection, and then down the main street to Sasquatch and Friends. Ben! That's the one who killed Eddie and took his cutie kitty! Wanna die, bitch? Aw, oh, shit! Let's rock and roll, Pooch! to you too thank you Sam you're the best sure anytime yeah really nice work Sam
Okay, we need to convince just one more person to help. Then we can start building your propeller. Hmm, that is a tasty beverage. Max is the math whiz at Oxford West. If anyone can calculate a propeller for optimal lift, it's him. I think he's worried about his parents. Maybe you could go check on them. Build a new gun. My best work yet. That gun is reliable, creative, and works very hard for you, like me. Try Easy Peasy Pizza. Can't decide what you want on it? No problem. We offer only one top. Flavor. If you find anything good, send a commission to Two Hat Jack. You come back soon, okay? But not too soon, though. If this wasn't the end of the world, I wouldn't be caught dead talking to someone like you. Max's parents live in the penthouse suite of the tallest tower. Those Fisco execs make a lot of money, you know. Well, there might be a product recall on their latest drink. So I'm just saying, I'm sure that can't help the stock price. You'd think, right? But nobody on the outside knows yet. Most of their stockholders probably think everything is running smoothly. With perhaps the exception of Max's parents. Correct. They're probably dead. But there is a chance they made it into their panic room. Of course they have a panic room. Yeah, I had an entire panic apartment. It looked just like my normal apartment, but with boarded up windows and me inside, panicking. Isn't there a chance Max's parents turned into OD when everybody else did? It's possible. Be careful when you open that panic room door. Fair point. You have all that living space above you. find a way to get to the higher floors, is what I meant, of course. Hmm. Well, this'll work. I just need to find some... Thank you very much! Ah, 
Ah, uh, dead end. my senses. Barricade does not look too solid. <laughs> That's scab ingenuity for you. All right, I'm sure I can bring it down somehow. <laughs> Thank you for not making me start at the bottom. <laughs> Are those explosive barrels hidden behind the barricade? How irresponsible and convenient. Puzzling puzzle. Hey, you're killing a lot of people. Don't worry, I won't tell. As long as 
energy drinks of overcharge. <laughs> Kill those guys a lot faster if you drank some overcharge! Just saying! I am a master assassin of Veritas!
and some weird sex stuff. Huh. Voice recorder. Max's parents dying words? Secure. Let's reached. find out. Oh shit! This message that it means you're still alive. Shame. Your mother and I are going to live in the Bahamas. We're cashing out your trust fund so mommy can drink a lot of champagne and daddy doesn't have to get a new job. Anyway, uh, best of luck. By the way, have you tried drinking our new overcharged drink yet? I think you'd like it. Well, at least the dick bag left a message. <laughs> Max is now poor and an orphan. We should just tell him that his parents were skeletons in a bathtub. Just get back. We'll figure out the least worst thing to tell him. So, Sam, you're sure your friends are going to listen to you now? Sure, I'm sure. Thanks to you, they think I did all this great stuff for them. You're sort of a modern-day Cyrano de Bergerac. I have no idea what that means. Well, of course I'm referencing the play, not the real Cyrano. <sighs> Whatever. I will be whoever you need me to be as long as I get that propeller. His parents are still alive, but they're major assholes. Stole his money and left him for dead. Yeah. I'll break the news. Yes! Freedom! Thanks, Sam. Best news ever! So, Sam, you expect us to believe you went out and did all this stuff by yourself? I think you had a little help. Who gives a shit what you think? You guys just sit on your asses all day while this hero goes out into the city, all to get you a bunch of useless shit so you can be happy. I don't know about you, but that inspires me makes me want to be a hero to this hero. I know we can do it. Together. We're gonna have to work hard. Sam forgot one thing. If you don't help him, I'll throw your ass out on the street to fend for yourself. I'm on board with this. Hey, let's get to work. Cool speech. I'm ready. It's a 3D printer. It's gonna make you a new propeller. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know. Mm, but it needs a faster processor. Of course it does. I'll see what I can find. I have a real beauty. I might be Freedom. To part with, I'm just, uh, the... like, free. <laughs> out there. Margaret told me she saw a cheerleader kill a bunch of scabs, then steal their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're telling me to be careful because of cheerleaders? Well, more like cheerleader assassins. Right. You know, tell Margaret to take a break from the comic books. I can find some high-end computer parts. Computer parts? Nope. You sure? Yep. Oh, no! There's a guy that lives in a cell phone tower nearby. He's got a ton of computers. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's what I thought. I'll check it out. How do I get over there? Watch yourself up there. Been hearing a lot of gunfire coming from up in that treehouse. Some people say there's a crazy hillbilly up there who'll shoot anything that moves. Sounds like a walking cliche. Man, we're all walking cliches in somebody's eyes. Tree-dwelling hillbilly, where would I keep my computer parts? Gotcha, you visco, some bitch. I'm not from Fisco. What do I look like, an asshole? Well, maybe not a Fisco asshole, but I'm gonna shoot you anyway, just to be sure. Wait, listen, I'm not Fisco. I'm just here to steal computer parts from you. How'd you think you were gonna do that when I got this here gun? Yeah, I got guns, too. Damn. But how do I know you can use them? I'm an American. I can use a cocky son of a bitch like you. Looks good on camera. I need footage for my new show. Get out there and show me what you can do. And don't worry about dying. That looks good on camera, too. Thanks. Because I wasn't already creeped out enough by you. Well, I got cameras all over that warehouse down there. If you're as good as you say, we should get some great footage. Sweet. I always wanted to star in the redneck running man.
Show me something even crazier this time. with your bed. Just smash this switch with your back. 